If you're looking to boost your Mutt team or make some money by selling coins, check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 16 Ultimate Team video. Guys, today's video is just going to be a quick update letting you guys know about tomorrow's Ultimate Legends. So these are going to be the ones that are in the game on July 9th and July 10th. They're going to be in packs, so you guys can go out there and get them 48 hours only. The first one is the one that you see on your screen right now. That is Ultimate Legend John Elway, one of the most popular cards always in Madden. And obviously this one's going to be a beast, as you might imagine at this point in the season. Pretty much elite stats across the board if you take a look at the back of that card. Now, obviously, we don't see every single thing that this card has because we haven't seen the, the full reveal of all of the attributes, but the ones that we see on the back of the card are pretty much the most important ones for the quarterback position. Good speed on this card at a 90. Amazing throw power and accuracy across the board. He's at 100 or above on every single one of those attributes, and then his play action being a 99, still really good there, and obviously the uh, 100 throw on the run as well. This is a really, really excellent card, guys. Uh, one thing that I do want to point out, though, is that if you compare this card's attributes to the Steve Young that was released, the Ultimate Legend Steve Young, this one doesn't stack up very well. And I think that's kind of interesting because... I'm not 100% sure that the attributes that we're seeing on the back of this are actually for the 48-hour John Elway. If they are, I'm a little bit disappointed because this John Elway would be 8 lower in speed than Steve Young, which I would imagine it would be a little bit lower in speed. That's not really a big issue, but it would be lower by 2 in throw power. Uh, by throw accuracy short, it would be 3 lower, 3 lower in throw accuracy mid, and 1 lower in throw accuracy deep. Same play action and same throw on the run, uh, but Steve Young also has a 100 awareness for whatever that matters. I'm not really certain that it does for quarterback, but my point is that there isn't really an area that John Elway is better than Steve Young if you compare the boss editions, if this is the boss edition. Now, EA has messed up before, and they've put just the standard Ultimate Legends attributes up for uh, the the uh, boss legends before on these little graphics. So that is a possibility. That could be something where this card is actually the base Ultimate Legend, and there's a slightly even more upgraded version of the Ultimate Legend boss. But again, with all of these attributes being 100 or slightly above 100, I'm not 100% sure that that's going to happen. So with that being said, guys, I do think this is probably one of the best quarterbacks in the game right now. He's not quite as fast as like the uh, the Tim Tebow or the Johnny Manziel or the Russell Wilson, but he's every bit as good as the Aaron Rodgers that recently came out. He's actually probably better pretty much across the board than Aaron Rodgers, and then he's also going to be better than most of your, uh, your standard golden ticket cards like Tony Romo. He's way better than the golden ticket Tony Romo. Um, he's quite a bit better than the Peyton Manning 48-hour card or the 24-hour card that came out earlier this year. Way better than the NFL draft Andrew Luck, um, and he's way better also than the positional hero Tom Brady. So there's a, a lot of cards where this one stacks up really well against. It just doesn't necessarily stack up well against the Steve Young. It's very comparable, though, to the Tom Brady golden ticket. So, you know, something to think about there. It's a little bit quicker, um, doesn't have quite as high of throw accuracy attributes uh, and throw power, but it's a little bit higher in play action and throw on the run. So, you know, kind of makes up for it a little bit at least. But uh, anyway, that is your John Elway. That's the one I think most people are going to be excited for. But we also have another really cool card that's coming out tomorrow, and that is going to be Joey Porter. Now, if you're a fan of the Steelers, you're getting two really great Steelers outside linebackers here in this game. Uh, this is, uh, it's kind of funny because two of the top I would say maybe even three of the top four right outside linebackers in this game are uh, are your actual, or maybe three of the top five are Steelers players. Now, obviously, the Steelers are known for having great outside linebackers throughout their history, but uh, like the James Harrison card, that card is really good, the uh, 4th of July version that came out. Great, great card. Then there's obviously the Greg Lloyd that came out a couple of weeks back. And then obviously this one that we're getting tomorrow, Joey Porter. That is an amazing, amazing card. Take a look at those attributes, man. He's just a monster across the board. Very, very comparable to the Greg Lloyd. He's a little bit lower in a couple of the attributes, but still just an absolute monster. And he has 97 speed. That is freaking insane, dude. Like the only outside linebacker that has better speed is the Telvin Smith golden ticket, but the Telvin Smith golden ticket is lower in every other attribute across the board. 
Uh, so at least the ones that we see on the back of this card. So definitely a good, great card, I guess I would say for Joey Porter. And again, he's either the best outside linebacker, or the best right outside linebacker in the game, or at the very worst, he's second or third in the game. So this is definitely one that's going to be worth a decent amount. Certainly over a million coins right away. Uh, I would say it's probably going to push two million coins right off the bat, and it could possibly fall to around 1.5 to 1.2 million, depending on kind of how the market shakes out here over the next week or two. Obviously, the cards when they first come out are a little bit more expensive than they end up being, but... With that being said, guys, those are your two ultimate legends for tomorrow. Let me know in the comments section below what do you think about these cards, and also let me know, do you think that the John Elway is a little bit underpowered, or do you think that it's good enough? Because, again, if you compare it to the Steve Young, the boss card, I don't think it stacks up that well. So let me know in the comments section below, guys. Thanks so much for all the support. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I will talk to you guys again soon.